and I'm bringing you another news report because I'm stuck at home. First things first, thanks to Bonnie, who brought this to my attention, we have been planning to post a statement, but seeing as this thread is getting some traction, we will answer here. Well, yeah, MindArk released a statement basically saying, we're sending our people to work from home if possible, and, uh, don't die of the plague. Right? The Entropian markets are clearly in a state of volatility right now, although I can't necessarily point at the real world economy and say, that's the main reason. That might be the main reason. However, one silver lining for you guys out there is the price of sweat is going up markedly because the new Gorgon spawn requires 50,000 sweat for every time it spawns. Weekly hunting stats, you got 2.8 million in global turnover, 29,726 globals. The most globals is big bulk. Top of the list is Ford, Zippo, Lincoln, Mercury, Go Alaska. Weekly mining stats, 509,109 ped, 3,843 globals. Most globals is Listerium stone. These are all really small globals for mining, too. Where's the big number? The four-digit ped one. It must still be out there. Crafting Hall of Fame. 2.592 million ped. 13,235 globals. Most globals is, again, explosive projectiles. Somebody was cool. They they put they made a level two finder amp. Got three hundred and twenty-one ped. Top crafters. Names haven't really changed. Top hunters. Messi's still on top. Ford Lincoln Mercury is gaining ground, however. Top miners. I, I like how the number 10 miner has the the avatar nicknamed Gold Digger. That is fucking hilarious. Mineral composition, we've got Listerium, Calderite, Iron, Oil, Narcanism, Regulite, Lausarium, Melchi, Ignisium, and Belkar. Popular mods, we have Displeter, Thethox, Leviathan, Aatrox, Maphoid, Big Bulk, Proteron, Rextellum, Shub, Gomonria, and Aranitrox. Looking at our land areas, you can see Arcadia Underground's back to doing way better than the moon. Way better than the moon. Last seven days in hunting. Again, underground, doing better than the moon. Looking at some recent markups, 
Nova Fragment and Blazar Fragment are, are, are trending back down a little bit. In fact, most of the market seems to be trending down a little bit. Especially, thank goodness, the Compet Deeds. Less people are buying those. They're down to 22.54. Clips on Land Deeds are up, actually. Arcadia Underground is down just a smidgen over the month from the last time I looked at it in detail. As you can see, uh, Gorgon Armor is starting to show up on the auction house. It is selling for a pretty good markup, and it's pretty much trashing the the resale value of Gremlin and Ghost Armor, because that's what Gorgon's going to replace. Looking at the top wars and in matters markup. Regulite still doing pretty good. Iron's starting to get up there again too. Or is it yeah, it's over 110 in the last couple weeks. Um at 109.98 for the month, so that's not too bad. Mind essence is trending down a little bit. And Lesser Elysia, which is another component to be able to spawn the Gorgon, is you need Lesser Elysia, and you need like 50,000 Sweat, and there's a bunch of other stuff you need. You can look into it. Some other people have done more details on how to spawn the Gorgon. But look at that armor price. This is why people are going through the pr process of spawning the Gorgon, so that they can get all that armor. Anywho, dividends in the same time period. I got two peck per deed out of... In the same time period, I got two peck per deed out of the Arcadia Moon. I got five peck per deed out of the Arcadia Underground. I got two peck per share out of Ancient Greece and two peck per share out of Crystal Palace Space Station. I'm actually really surprised it broke the, the two ped mark in Ancient Greece. Crystal Palace has got, been going down pretty steadily since Ancient Greece was released. It seems to be the only thing that's really dropping in value. So this is what pe people are selling off their gains in Crystal Palace to buy into Greece, thinking Greece is going to go up. Now, in my opinion, Greece is not going to go up. We should probably just give up on that idea right there because again i already said greece lacks transparency 